We'll keep the engine going. We're all thinking, what's going to be See that big rock sitting there? You've got to ask yourself that question would be, how would a rock that size get there? And why would it be here? So it's good to work on them. See if you can see any markings, carvings. Something. A small rabbit run down there. So I'm keeping I'm eyeballing as I'm walking. So this is all being dug. You can see now quite that big boulder was there. Basically pushed all that ground out from up here and flattened it out down the edge. Now, could be a good thing to Metal detect this. I suspect this is going to be really trashy and all mixed up. Bunny down there. So we seem to be having a lot of problems where I come from. The rabbit, rabbits everywhere. When I grew up, I never used to see any rabbits at all. And a few years ago, they started building houses. When every spare bit of land they could possibly find. And the rabbits had to leave where they were. They started coming into the neighbourhoods. Now when you have a look, just at night time, seven, eight at night, absolutely everywhere. There's one there. Absolutely everywhere. All just because they decided that they would build houses everywhere. Right, this area here, that's all the new houses it built. This is basically the runoff, I think, for the flood drains. Now, I don't understand what's happening, how, they, how they're getting permission to do these kind of things about everywhere. Because I've seen these places a lot. I understand it's a settling pond, still got to go somewhere. And the water that's coming out of these streams are contaminated. Most of it's run off from the streets. Oil from cars, petrol, all sorts of things. And it's all just running into something like that. Settles. It comes down at the bottom. So it comes into here. Then it pours down. I'm guessing there's a burn. I'm sure it's... Ah, yeah, there's a burn down there. But the water's not clean. It's far from clean. Straight out a scheme, right into a water source. Then that water source has got to get into a river somewhere. Then that river's got to get into the sea. There's the Scottish Thistle. Lovely. It's not ready yet. Another month, possibly a bit more. You can see the bum down there. This is okay to go on. So there's the burn there. So all that water will come cascading down here. It's screwed a lot of water into a small burn that size. Now how can a burn that size take the run off from a full scheme? Absolutely nuts. Is that possible? It is not possible all that burn off can get that small steam. Possible. I'll keep wandering over this way. That tree line you can see there. That's a tree line of an old school that was there. It was built in the Early part of the 1800s, I'm sure. Closed down about 10 years ago or more. A few years back, someone all our naturally went in fire. They had to rip it down and now they're building houses on it. Bit convenient. It's really overgrown here. Yeah, you can see it's there. Right, let's see what we've got here. 
So this is just the other side of that wee burn. It's really overgrown. Small burn down here. Where I come from, a lot of industrial work everywhere. It's really hard to try and find somewhere untouched, natural, the way it was originally. There's so much done, changed, it becomes really agitating at times. If you're metal detecting, it becomes agitating because you're just round in circles. And just keep finding the same thing. I'm not too sure about going down there, it looks quite deep and boggy. I'll try to head over this way, see what's over here. That's why you have to go out and have a wee adventure and see what you can find. You can see a small path there. There's plenty of wee mound, that's very strange, that. I'll we'll head over there and see what that is. I'll we'll head over there. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Look at this. Oh my god, I could have fell down there. Oh my god. That's so dangerous. So dangerous is unbelievable. If you can see down the bottom, that round orangey thing, that's a ball. I think it's a ball. You can tell scale. Oh my god. If you see here, I walk just down the back of here. I'm not too sure about going down there, it looks quite deep and boggy. I'll try to head over this way, see what's over here. That's why you have to go out and have a wee adventure and see what you can find. You can see a small path there. There's plenty of wee mound, that's very strange that. I walk just down the back of here and stop just over, over here and then seeing a the path that I'm on just now, just to walk over. If I would have stopped here, and walked over there, straight down there. I've never seen this in my life. Ah, it's so dangerous, it's unbelievable. What's that doing being left like this? It's a massive quarry. So this must be the quarry that's on the old maps. I thought it would be gone. Look at that rock face. But the head doesn't put the wind up the workman. And the language, well, blasting is going on all the time. And even the management swear that their stone is the best in the world. The rock is drilled by compressed air to a depth of 23 feet. And then the fuse and charge are inserted. Everything's all right so long as you don't stay too long. If you do, you might be blown up by the foreman. From 10 to 18,000 tons of rock are brought down after each blast. Oh my God. To me that looks like it's been getting filled up for years. How big was this? This must have been really deep. 
Oh, I don't feel safe here now. I <laughs> need to look everywhere. Oh, hey, don't miss me. This was the mound I seen from over there. I guess this is the mound of dirt they dug out of that hole. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Really need to be careful here. Do not feel safe at all. I can see a rock, it well, looks like a hole there. You can see something over there, it's quite dark. I don't know if it'd be safe if I can head down. Stick to the edge. Oh, it need to be safe. Oh my God. I'm absolutely shocked by that. What an absolute amazing find. I've been round this area a few times, but I've never ever been here. I just thought it was the burn. No idea that was there. Oh, I feel dead panicky walking here. No idea that was there. It's absolutely amazing. Amazing and scary at the same time. and really scary at the same time. Oh, oh I'm all panicky. Wait a minute, there's an animal den right below me. So don't you decide to come out. There's animal dens down there. That is absolutely amazing. I really want to get down there, but I don't know if that's safe. I don't know if there's sinkholes down there or my instincts tell me not to go down. That is absolutely amazing. The scale of that, I'd say it's about 30 feet from bottom to top, just up there. This was one of the quarries I was talking about, it's on the maps. I honestly had no idea it would be like this. Wow. There, where all the trees are, looks really scary. You can see an animal den there, animal den right there. I'm just hoping that it doesn't come out. It'll scare the life out of me. I'm not too sure about being down there. If I could see the ground, I'd go on it, but right now it's just all leaves and twigs and sticks. Might be best coming back in the winter time. Look at that tree. Trees grow right out the wall. This whole hillsides, animal den, animal dens everywhere. I'm going to fall down a mine shaft, a quarry shaft. I end up falling down an animal den. Just being super careful. I'm trying to be super careful. It just looks really intimidating and dangerous. The ground's just really soft, I just don't trust it at all. We'll get a quick picture and then we'll get out ski. Because I do not trust this at all. What can happen is the ground can fall over and it gives you a fake roof with a void underneath. And it just takes the way to you to stand on it. Oh, the ground's really soft. Just takes the weight of you to stand on it and you're gone. You can see extensively quarried here. 
Oh, that's quite panicky there. I can see the ground. I would feel safer with all these dead leaves. Vegetation growth, I can't see. Must be golly flies off. Well, what I can see anyway. There's a small green fly all over me. Must have been about 50 landed on me. There's another one. Get to. Guess we make them way off. So I'm guessing this whole area was one big quarry. And you can see the level of the height of the ground there and goes round. And that's the quarry just down at the back there. So it's an extensive amount of rock that's been moved out of here. Dangerous as well. That makes me even more wary when I'm going out and going places because I thought this was all, these things were all shut over and filled. That, that's so dangerous. So dangerous that all it takes is you to just walk across that top and it is a straight edge off. At least 30, 40 feet down. You'd be lucky to survive that. You can see here there's a stone right there. That's one of the stones that they would have been taken off. Somehow they've decided to leave that one. I guess that'd have been a wee chuck up to them. The size of the bricks that they've been taken out of them. Sandstone and boulders, I should say. And you can see that mound. Now this is clearly spoil. It's been moved from down here to there. This must have been a really, really busy place. A lot of people working their cell to the bone for buttons, nothing at all. People were just working slaves back then. They paid you, but you might as well not have paid you. It's just basic slavery. Can't believe how dangerous that is. That's so dangerous. You can see that tree growing out there. Like that. I find it absolutely amazing. That rock face there. That was getting formed before the dinosaurs. Way before the dinosaurs. Where I come from underneath us, that's loads of coal. I think it's the Carboniferous period. I think that's where most of our coal, sandstone type material, oil, gas, I think a lot of our natural resources come from that time. I think it was when Earth was one, or mainly one, big island, and the continent started to break apart. Some places got coal, gas, oil, stone, Gold, diamonds, it's all from that time. It's absolutely amazing to see some man-made formations. It still is, you see what's underneath your feet all the time. You can see on the face there's scratches and gouge marks.
some of the larger blocks are broken with wedge and hammer. Then comes what is perhaps the most skilled job of the lot, the making of sets. With an iron sledge, the quarry man trims the stone to the required length, breadth and thickness, and he does all his measuring by eye. Stones everywhere. I'm saying pinching it off with the big bars. Good thing with sandstone is it splits well. So you can get the stone in, split it. Easy material to work and shape. I'll carry on and we'll see what else we find. But I'm now keeping my eyes open. Isn't that safe? But it was fun. I really like to come back. But I think it'd be a place to come back with someone. If something does happen, they can go and get help. Because if I fall in there just now, there's no way anybody knowing that I'm in there. So, I think it's best. Where well, we're still, I think it's best to carry on. But, still a fantastic find. <laughs>